Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the Corel Paint Shop Pro uh, using the clone tool. This is a Corel Paint Shop uh, 2020 version, but uh, I believe the main functionality should be the same regardless of the version you're using. Things might just look slightly different. So I'm going to use a couple of real world examples because that's the way I like to work. I don't, I hate the tutorials that are sort of made fake and they're, they're too easy. Uh, this is the real world and we need to do real solutions. So here is a photograph that uh, on its face isn't uh, all that bad, but for people who are picky like I am, you can see light through the leaves here and here and a little bit even down in here. Let's zoom in. So these things can be distracting when looking at an image because you, you are drawn to the highlight areas and the highlights in these dark areas draw our attention. So we're going to use the clone tool to uh, mitigate some of those issues. Now I have opened an image and I can simply use C on the keyboard to activate the clone tool. You can also um, come over here and uh, use the tool um, you know, from, from the, uh, the toolbar if you like. But uh, I'm much more preferential of using shortcuts. They just uh, work for me. And uh, what I like to do is uh, right click an area and uh, obviously do a little touch up and then move the area and then do a little touch up and so on and so forth. I also like to change the size as I go along. So I'm going to right click and get rid of some of this. I don't want it to become overly uniform in meaning if I just do one area over and over again it's going to look real obvious that I've done it. So what I, I will do is I will change the angle of the area um, as I work. So in this case I'm working up direction versus down direction and when you run across things like this you've got to be a little bit wary. Uh, I'm going to actually select that and then use that to cover up a little bit here. And remember it doesn't have to necessarily be exact but by switching my position I keep things a little bit more random so that when you observe it it looks a bit like nature and not like something that was put up uh, such as you know wallpaper you know some uh, something man-made tends to be more even and orderly whereas nature tends to be a bit more chaotic in terms of the visual visualness of it and then the other thing I like to do is I use the alt key and then drag to change the size a bit because the same same thing applies if you use the um, uh, one size for all of your adjustments it's really really easy for it to become too orderly and then that becomes something that people can see and that obviously takes away from what you're trying to do so here I am working this way and I'm not gonna sit here and uh, make you uh, watch me do all this I am going to uh, jump us ahead a bit and uh, we can see how it's going so I'm gonna zoom out and what I'm going to do is come down to this area here. Now one of the things uh, you can also use the clone tool for uh, instead of simply trying to hide and get rid of things like I might do in this case, you can also use the same logic uh, to actually duplicate parts of your image to fill something in which a hides it but two also gives it a natural look so in the case of here we've got um, some leaves and I might want to actually clone those and I'm use my alt key and drag my mouse something a little more along the shape I want right click there and you know paste that in and when I zoom out it looks like it's just another leaf so don't don't be afraid of um, grabbing things that are already there and then using them. Like if I come here and then it, it gives me, see that little preview in my little, uh, my ball there? So then I can paste that down. You, you can, again, you don't want to be doing it too much, but it's a nice way to fill in an area that otherwise you'd be dealing with such small amounts that you'd have to go in and out into really weird areas to try to hide them. And so using C on the keyboard to activate your clone tool using the alt key on your keyboard to change the size and making sure that you change the point in which you are selecting so you're changing the angle slightly 
is a really good way to keep things natural looking and random enough that they become much harder for someone to look at and say that it was uh, cloned out. Now obviously you're going to know and so you know, you're, you'll know you probably notice it before someone else will but again being careful let me see if I can uh, do something that uh, so if I just do this for example so you can see this is repeated here that little, that little um, um, part of the branch the stick there so even if I zoom out it kinda draws its own attention so you gotta be you gotta be careful that you don't um, do you know just lose patience and um, grab and go take the time to make some adjustment change angle change size and you're going to get a much more natural result and again just uh, you know put on some music take your time doing it and you can actually hide quite a bit of stuff so knowing how to use a tool like this will allow you to um, change a bit about your photography so so here's a uh, be a little careful there it's a bit of a duplicate there I'm gonna undo that uh, when you're out shooting you can uh, see a scene and decide hey there are some things in the scene that I don't like but I know that I can remove them later so this is the simple clone tool um, using C on the keyboard to do the clone tool I will um, probably go through and create separate videos for each of the different tools uh, please feel free to leave me a comment below if you have a, uh, a suggestion of things that would make a good tutorial things you'd like to learn um, techniques whether it's actual technique of using the tool itself or if it's um, you know something like more general like completely uh, post-processing a photograph or something in, in a larger fashion as opposed to a specific technique of a specific part of the tool uh, again please subscribe click the bell icon to make sure you get notified when new videos are uploaded and uh, leave me a comment below I always like that so this is the Corel Paint Shop Pro clone tool talk to you later